All right, so this is a uh, very frequently requested video. How do I bind my ExpressLRS receiver with my ExpressLRS transmitter? This is well documented on the ExpressLRS.org website, which I have um, pointed many people to, but then they come back and after they read it, they don't get it. And they ask me for a video. So yeah, I'm, I guess uh, and try, instead of trying to explain it over and over, uh, typing things out in emails, etc. I'm just gonna make a video and paste this link to those people. I know a lot of you already know how to do this and this is probably not redundant or just redundant or not necessary for you guys. I get it, uh, it's not for you, it's for a small percentage of you that are um, not able to figure out the instructions on the ExpressLRS website. So um, I have here a Jumper T-Lite V2 with a nano transmitter here on the back. I'm going to initiate the binding via the Express LRS you know, Lewis script. Uh, this is the new Fox Whoop um, 25, I believe is what it's called. And it has a happy model EP2 receiver. These instructions are receiver independent. Doesn't matter what receiver you have, it'll work the same way. And this is assuming that there isn't anything wrong with your build or your setup. I can't account for the numerous millions of ways that things can go wrong. This is assuming that you've installed it correctly. And then these are instructions on how to properly bind up the receiver. If you've installed it incorrectly, um, you'll have to probably get some special help for that. Um, that's beyond the scope of this video. Now I do have a binding phrase uh, flash to my firmware on the transmitter. This will work whether or not you have a binding phrase on your transmitter or not. If you have a binding phrase on your transmitter, it will be stored into the receiver once you've completed the bind. Um, apparently, I, uh, someone gave me some bad information. Someone on Facebook said that this doesn't work if you have a binding phrase in your transmitter, but I'll show you here that it does. And this is another video that I can point to as a link to show that, yeah, people on Facebook are not always right. They're often wrong. So anyways, um, your buttons and everything on your radio are gonna be a little bit different from mine, but if you have OpenTX or EdgeTX in the case I have here, it should just uh, basically follow this, this, you know, the same procedures here and you should be able to duplicate that on yours and just figure out what the buttons are on your radio. I'm gonna go into the system menu here, so I'm gonna long press the system menu or system button, get into the tools, and you just have the ExpressLRS uh, Lewis script for your version of ExpressLRS installed. Of course, the versions have to match. This is V2. This is V2 over here. If they don't match, then it's not going to bind. We'll go into the script here. And we can see that we've got the radio or the transmitter. In your settings here, we'll just go down to bind. And we'll leave it here for now. And get this ready. I'm going to press the enter button there once the receiver is in bind mode. And this is the thing that gets people, they want, this is what they want, this is the thing that they want to see is you have to power it on, the light turns on and off, then you want to unpower it. And you want to do that three times and then the light will double blink. And then you know that you're in bind mode. So can, yeah, at that point you want to leave the power plugged in and it will continue to double blink. It means it's in bind mode and then you're ready to go to the transmitter to execute the bind command. So let's go ahead and I'll show you this. So the light's gonna be right here. I'm gonna power this on and off on camera. So yeah, pay attention and look at the light. So on and off, on and off. There we go. So the third time you should get that double blink. That it means that the receiver is in bind mode. Hopefully that makes sense to you. I'm obviously showing you in the video. If you're not able to figure this out, I'm afraid I'm not able to help you. So press enter. You can see there the light turns solid. And now we are bound. So let me just get out of here. Exit out of all the menus, and you can see here now we have a with basically telemetry back from the receiver right there, and we're now in a successfully bound situation here. And yes, I have a bind phrase in my transmitter. It does work with the receiver, and we need to do the standard binding method. 
So that is it. Hopefully this will help you guys out for those of you who are having a lot of trouble figuring this out. Again, light on and off, on and off. Third time it should double blink. You'll be in bind mode. That's the, I guess that's the trick. So uh, some in some um, uh, receivers, they'll get uh, how on some receivers, they'll get power from the flight controller board and you can do that via USB. Um, so th that's another way you can do it. You don't have to necessarily use a battery. So that might be a little bit different for your situation. But in this particular build here, this flight controller does not power the receiver via USB. So I have to use the battery. All right, that's good for this video. Give it a thumbs up and do let your friends know that aren't able to figure this out. Uh, share this video with them so that uh, they can uh, figure out how to do their ExpressLRS receiver binding. And that's going to do it for this one. Talk to you later.